Hello guys, in this video we'll be considering understanding SEO. What is SEO all about? Though SEO comes in play when you um, most importantly have your own website. When you have your own website, since it's part of this course, it will be on the failure of my side if I don't talk about it. So but I shouldn't have talked about it except we are going into website designing. For those of you that are not part of the course of the ongoing training that you might find it also useful also we'll just dive into some of the important things we need to note i'll skip some of some things and talk on most of the important things that we need to understand about seo the word seo simply means search engine optimization it simply means when you put your let's say solo digital up down the google search engine now how it comes out so does it rank among the in the first page statistics shows that some people don't go beyond the first page on google search engine so your how do your business or your business name or your domain name rank among the first page of google search engine that is what we talk about seo so is the practice of increasing organic traffic on search engine result page so this is search engine with just page so how frequent you can see that this ice cream recipe have over 39 million results but only few ranks in the first page so that is what search engine optimization is all about now let's take the competition we evaluate let's consider 200 students participating in the debate competition so what do we need to get the company where evaluate the basics the relevant content the suitable title the logical structure suitable synthesis need and readable content so that is how engine optimization work so what you need in seo a few of the important ranking factors the relevant content can it could, can be the engaging relevant content your suitable titles is the title or tags the url the logical structure the header tags would we'll get to know all these things your suitable synopsis is the mental description and the neat and readable is the responsive design and size speed now let me quickly point out is it responsible design and size speed so it comes in place when you have your own website how fast your website is and how how good the graphics of your website is now in OSEO we have the on-page SEO and the off-page SEO so the on-page on-page you need to pay more attention on your own page FCO also you need to pay in the off page but most importantly it is more attention needs to be paid on the on page SEO so the on page SEO is the process of optimizing element on your website itself it talks about the header tag the mental description the title tag the keyword research the keyword usage, the internal links the site maps first of all we are going to look at the keyword research now the keyword research is very the most important part of SEO. You and there are many tools you can use in create in helping you get a good keyword research. Let's take for instance, you want to see talk about understanding um, digital marketing. When you talk about understanding digital marketing, that is not a good keyword research. A good keyword research is what is digital marketing. Another good keyword research is how does digital marketing play? So the usage of what, how, why, those are the beginning of a good keyword research. So you don't just go ahead and say understanding keyword and digital marketing. No. So those that this these are some tools that helps you get a good um, a keyword research on SEO. Google search also is free. You can use this. I use this just Google search also. I use it. Afref is you pay on Afref, you pay on keep Google Keyword Planner is very, very, very good, but it's a paid, it's a paid software, it's a paid tool, so you get to use that. So this is how Google Keyword Planner it looks like. It gives you a good. Um, so those are how it looks. So keyword research 
like uh, you want to create a content on digital market then based on your search volume and competition your primary keyword becomes what is digital market like i said earlier so you see this one introduction to digital marketing then digital marketing see you see that 4400 people have a monthly search 1000 can you see but what is digital marketing you can see the number of search volume 40,500 number of search volume so and it's even less competitive so now what is the title tag now the title tag let's go straight to this just ending like google display the first 60 50 to 60 character of the title tag the tag the tag summarizes the website content so when you type in how to become a digital marketing specialist you will see that this is the title this is what we call the title tag your word, your how this is a good keyword research. I mean, the good, good, good keyword how to become a digital marketing, not understanding. So, you can use how you can use what. So, this is a good keyword research. So, the mental description note that it's only display 50 to 60 characters, so it doesn't display more than that. So, what do we mean by mental description? The mental description is a brief description. That summarize the content of a web page is up to 100 and up to 155 characters so this is the meta description this one after you after your uh, header we have um, we will come to this place your this your url after your header your url you have your meta description you search millions of so, 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 blah 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 and all that so this is the mental description so note that this is your header this is your mental description now this is your url this is your url so those are url structure then we have your header tags in website designing there are three things that that are so 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 very important we have the html we have the CSS and we have the JavaScript. The HTML is just it talks about um, the the content writing on the web page. It talks about the content writing on the web. The CSS, the cascading, the cascading just talks about like the CSS. Talk about the, the color, the, the the color you put to your website, and the JavaScript is a website programming language. So this this the HTML this when you have H, H1, it means the mid heading. This is the H1, the H2 means the sub heading. I think we have up to H, H5 or 6. So H2 means the sub heading, H2 also means the sub heading, to and all that. So when you go to, when you want to learn website designing, you get to know all those facts. So this is, let's take for instance, this is the H1 now, how to become a digital marketing specialist. The H2 is going digital marketing job market. This is also the H2, these are the sub. Heading. So internal links is very important in your website for you to have a good SEO. You have your internal link because once you drive into website designing, you begin to see how useful internal links are. Very useful, very useful. It's very, very, very useful internal links. So you link up pages to pages so that it will engage your traffic. It will engage those coming. Um, into your website it will not leave your website to be boring to them that we are done with off page on page fco let me just touch one or two things that was in the diagram now you see keyword is each we have talked about keyword research title tag meta description header tags now the site maps you discover that when you log into some site you see some map and you click it and they take it to another another um, page that is what we call the site map it's just a picture that has been um, they have um, put a url that is attached to it now when you click on that picture it takes you to another page so let's go to diving straight to the off page seo off page seo off page seo is the process of linking or promoting your website using link building this help improving website recognition, credibility, trustworthiness, and authority. So what 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 off page SEO is all about is 
when your link your website link can be fine in other website let's take it for instance the social media platforms you have communities you can be fine on blogs maybe wikipedia or other places so link is a navigation of your hyperlink from other website to your website can you see maybe define it to your you can find your website on facebook this app google give credibility to your website it's not just a isolated website so when people thousands of people come into your website using another link then google know that your link your website is well recognized indeed we can drive a fair traffic and increase website authority for example um, you can strategy of link with high quality content creation creation where you have your high quality or your also off-site engagement and all that so this is what is the brief in understanding what SEO is all about. If you are interested in registering for a website design course, you can chat me up. You can chat me up or write your, write your comment on the YouTube section below. You, you, will, you, will, cover, you will cover most of the theoretical, theoretical aspect and the practical aspect of website designing. Most importantly, our focal point will be on WordPress websites. Over 30% of the websites in the world are WordPress. So many people are not going to the back end or front end website. Then most people are driving back to the WordPress website because it's coding. There's no much coding. There's no coding at all. But you just have to understand uh, some of the interface, the application interface. But there's, there's much, there's not high level of coding as a front end you know, website and all that so if you're interested please chat me up and let's get started thank you for watching this video i made myself solo joshua the ceo of solo digital Hub.